What's up, Panther Nation? This is Bill Mack here with week two of the 2023 season with the Carolina Panthers. This is, of course, the Panther Prowl. Of course, I am Bill Mack. I am here with you on a week two Monday Night Football recap as the Carolina Panthers in the first prime time game of the season, week two, hosting the New Orleans Saints, a division rival. Carolina coming off of a loss last week to the Atlanta Falcons, 24-10. New Orleans coming in off of a win last week, so this would be a battle of will Carolina be able to bring our record to one and one and at least split these early uh, two, two week two week um, back to back division games, and, and would they improve from last week? Would the defense, would the offense get to going? Would the defense improve? How would things look um, as we get into it? You know, there was a lot going on. In the game today, you know, a lot we were looking forward to, you know, coming into the game uh, tonight. A lot of things we wanted to see. How would Bryce do in his first uh, prime time home uh, game? He is the first number one overall pick quarterback wise to appear in his first home game on Monday Night Football. So, you know, an honor bestowed upon him to doing it. And this game, for the most part, started out as we were thinking it was going to be like a defensive game. That's how I pretty much was going to look for it to be a defensive game back and forth. I didn't see either offense uh, scoring a whole lot of points. Even in the whole game, I, I saw the defense as being very strong um, with, you know, their matchup, respective matchups. The Panthers, you know, uh, had dealt a had been dealing with a couple of injuries, um, you know, one of them potentially season-ending, the other not. Um, you know, and also, too, is uh, – just looking for them to getting back on track, um, and and of course the first uh, the first half, you know, um, of course there was a few uh, things happened here as the Panthers ended up um, as the score was six to three at halftime. Uh, scoring drives were uh, as listed as this. There was um, New Orleans scored first on the ball with a thirteen play drive. That was only for 46 yards where they did get four first downs. Very hard. A lot of, of the game reminded me so much of how the Panthers played uh, the, for the past two seasons. Low scoring, not a lot of scoring in the first half, having to make adjustments to try to somehow come out and put some points on the board, um, hopefully not being behind too much or you know at least being up. But there was nothing but field goals. Three field goals was all the offense that we could see going on in the first half. Of course, Eddie Pinero, um, two 50-yard field goal plus 50-yard field goals um, were the scoring uh, for the Panthers. And, of course, New Orleans Saints uh, did get a field, uh, field goal as well. The only takebacks I could really get out of the uh, – out of the at least at the half was that the defense was pretty much solid. For, I would say at least at halftime, the defense was really solid for us. Offense had a hard time getting first downs. They were like one of at one time they were like one of five, and they were like starting averaging seven yards on third down. So they weren't able to have third down and three, third down and two. It was pretty much like third down and six, third down and seven, which is typical of them. So it, it seems as if no matter who the um, who the uh, team is, who the coach is, the Panthers are still going to be the Panthers, whom they are. But at halftime, stats for the Panthers were Bryce Young. He was eight of thirteen. For 66 yards, and Miles Sanders, of course, he had eight carries for 25 yards. Really couldn't get it going much. That running game was just hard to get in the first half. The uh, New Orleans Saints did a really good job of keeping the run game at bay for them. Um, passing wise, of course, Thielen had five catches for 44 yards, and I would say in the first half you could kind of see that Thielen would be the guy that would getting the most uh, targets and catches because he was pretty much the only one that was able to get some space and be able to make a few plays uh, and get open for Bryce to get the ball to. Bryce was doing a lot of drop down, drop passes, because uh, um, 
a lot of dinking and ducking um, the the ball because there wasn't a whole lot he could do downfield. The offensive line wasn't that good at protecting him. He was constantly having to run, have to scurry about, having to uh, try to make plays. And sometimes Bryce would even would make some bad decisions trying to force the ball into it. Where one time again, for almost the third time this year, he almost got picked off um, by one of the plays. But uh, you know, Sanders couldn't get much going. It was, he was eight of 50, uh, eight of twenty five. Uh, yards in the first half. Of course, like I said, Thielen was five of catches for 44 yards. And, of course, Shark did have a 15-yard catch that looked promising for him. And, of course, Sanders did uh, get a couple passes then early on. Defense looked pretty good. It started off uh, Luvu setting the tone. Dante Jackson did had a couple of hits, a couple of missed tackles, which has been the issue of his problem. C.J. Henderson, of course, getting picked on a little bit. Derrick Brown not making much of an impact um, in the first half. And, of course, Shaq Thompson, which with sad to say Shaq Thompson ended up being hurt and taken off the field in the uh, second quarter. And we don't know what the extent of the injury is, but we do know that he was on the cart when they took him off. That's never a good thing. So let's just hope, fingers crossed, that he doesn't. Uh, he isn't. It isn't something serious. Of course, uh, uh, Von Bell, uh, you know, doing well, getting an interception. There in the first half, uh, Troy Hill coming in. I had a couple tackles early on. Uh, I, I would say hitting good this week were our, uh, some of our secondary. Chen, of course, getting in there did well. Uh, Justin Houston, who we just signed, did well. Um, Kamu Gruger, a heel, I think he done well too. I mean, we had our defense was pretty good for much of the first half, and we were hoping, you know, to kind of carry that on into the second. Of course, Brian Burns was in there. Uh, as well as YGM, and Panera, like I said, was one of one. He had a 52-yard field goal to kick, and, of course, um, Hecker doing his thing, kicking three punts for 40 yards, and uh, as long as it was a 47-yarder. or So going into the halftime, like I said, it was 6-3. to three. Now we get to the second half. What would happen here? And it was more of the same from what we've seen in the first half. We did have a little bit of offense where a couple times – the uh, Olave did well. I would say he would be the MVP for Carr tonight. Carr couldn't really get the game going until maybe the late third, early fourth quarter. By then, the defense had been on for so long because Bryce and offense really couldn't sustain a long touchdown scoring drive. They did get a you know they did get a couple of field goals up until the, you know, near the end when it was pretty much out of the Panthers' hands to get the win. They did score a late season, uh, a late touchdown uh, in the third, in the fourth quarter, but by then it was already uh, too late. We've seen Thielen continue on being that uh, security blanket for Bryce, making crucial catches when needed be. Nobody else really could get it. Terrence Marshall did have a catch, but you didn't hear much out of him. Uh, Chenault, and, and I will say this about Bryce. Bryce is a perfect. He still has some learning to do. He did throw overthrow a couple times, and – make a couple passes that were overthrown and you know and and that just continues a trend where he has done that uh in the last couple of games is overthrow players wide open it's it's real crucial and I say that because bright when we our our wide receivers aren't top notch wide receivers it's hard for them to get space in between them and a the receiver and it seem or them in the back or the safety and whenever they did Bryce tended to overthrow them so, you know, it was just it was just not looking good. Bryce did scurry a few times on there, avoided getting taking a hit. Um, but again, that offensive line in the second half was not, really not much different than it was in the first half. They looked really rough, especially with Christensen out. Cade Mays had a crucial uh offsides penalty that really set the Panthers back where it was a fourth and one. They were going forward on a drive, and then Cade Mays flinches. And it sets him back, of course, five yards, and he ended up having to kick the field goal instead of trying to drive down and continue to drive where they had potential to get a uh, a touchdown had they been able to get down there. But who knows? We don't know. But, of course, we know Cade Mays coming in for Austin um, Corbett, who was injured. But we had a lot going on, a lot of fun, a few fumbles and things happened um, along the way here. We'll get into some of the uh, stats and things here. Um, a breakdown of the game here. Um, let's see. And, I, of course, you'll see what the score is here in, in just a minute. 
But as we look at it, um, and we will see this here, um, we talk about Tony Jones, who was the uh, running back um, for the Saints, who really came in late to really solidify it. As, the, as you've seen the score here, and we put it up, it was 20 uh, to 17, of course. The, the Panthers getting a late score and touchdown. Bryce did do it. Like I said, a couple times he did a couple things that were um, helping other pan uh, helping the Panthers score. Uh, let's look at the uh, stats here real quick. At the box score here, of course, finishing up with the games here. Um, of course, we have, uh, let's see here, we had Derek Carr going 21 of 36. He had 228 yards with one interception, so... They didn't get, they held him to no touchdown. He was sacked four times by the defense for the loss of 29 yards. Taysom Hill did have one pass. He was pretty much the gadget back as he usually is because he had uh, nine carries for 75 yards. But, um, you know, so uh, Taysom Hill was the lead runner, had uh, nine carries, 75 yards. Of course, Tony, uh, Tony Jones Jr. had 12 carries, 34 yards, but important, two touchdowns. To bring it in, of course, leading the way was 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 their MVP for me in receiving wise. Chris Olave had six catches for 86 yards, as long as it was 42 yards. And then uh, Rashid Shahid, uh, he had um, four catches for 63 yards. Who he was crucial down the line. Michael Thomas had quietly seven catches for 55 yards. Didn't hear much out of him during the game uh, as well. Uh, the team had no fumbles. The defense, of course, um, a few uh, no notables here. Marcus May had seven tackles, uh, one sack. DeMar Demario uh, Davis, same with him, seven tackles, one sack, one tackle for loss. Uh, of course, we also had Carl Granderson, two tackles, one sack. And Nathan Shepard had a sack as well with two tackles to go with him. Uh, both of those guys both had two quarterback hits apiece. So. Bryce was hit a few times tonight, but, you know, like I said, he and he was sacked um, considerably uh, tonight, today. Um, looking on the Panthers' side here, our Panthers, Bryce was 22 of 33, 153 yards. Still didn't break the 200-yard passing, um, passing um, you know, uh, goal, I would say. Had 153 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Uh, four sacks. He was sacked four times for 14 yards. Miles Sanders, like I said, was not a factor much. 14 carries, double-digit carries, only 43 yards rushing. Bryce Young had two carries for 34 yards. Chuba come in at two for 16. Not a whole lot with the running game. They did total 100 yards, but that's between them where the New Orleans Saints, 134 yards with those guys. Receiving wise, of course, I said Thielen was the man for them tonight with the touchdown. Seven catches for 53 yards. Chuba had five catches for 34 yards. Mingo, which didn't really show up much, three for 26. Hayden Hurst not showing up much, three for 20. Uh, Shark had that one catch. And Sanders, of course, a couple of deacon dunk passes to him. Uh, three catches for four yards. Of course, Bryce did fumble the ball, and they were able to, uh, the Saints were able to recover it. Uh, the man tonight on defense, I would say, would be Lou Vu. He had two sacks, three tackles for loss, a total of nine total tackles. Xavier Woods hard hitting tonight on a couple of breakups that he did. Uh, past defenses, he had eight tackles tonight. CJ, of course, had seven tackles, six on solo, but got picked on tonight. Brown wasn't as effective as he normally is at seven tackles. Like I said, Camus, uh, Gregor, Gregor, Gruger, Hill, excuse me for butchering that name. Six tackles. He did have a sack uh, to contribute as well. Dante got blown by a couple times. Just wasn't able to stay up with Olave. Olave just made him his playmate and just ran around him when he needed to. Of course, Von Bell did well tonight, you know, and, and Chin looked good early on. Didn't hear much out of him the rest of the game. Shaq, of course, like I said, got hurt in the second quarter, but he only had three tackles up to that point. And, of course, we had uh, Justin Houston, which I was looking forward to seeing. He had a half a sack with YGM getting the other half sack as well. Shy Tuttle had a couple tackles. Burns had a couple tackles uh, as well. Now, Trimble, nothing. Von Bell, like I said, did have an interception for them uh, with an interception for 11 yards. 
Uh, we had a couple punt returns. Of course, Eddie Pinero, three for three field goals, which made nine points. And Hecker, of course, had five total punts. So a lot to take away in this game. Panthers didn't do themselves uh, too well tonight by getting that loss uh, for them. Of course, like I said, the score was 20-17. That touchdown was was pretty much a pre and prevent, and the Panthers were able to score with it. Now looking down at the um at, at next week, I don't know who the Panthers play next week. I, I think it's I want to say it's Houston, but I'm not sure. I, I'm not really don't don't give me up on that. It might might not be Houston, but I'll I'll get more into that though. But I do hope that next week's game is um you know the Panthers continue to grow. It's going to take some patience with Bryce. He's got to learn from his mistakes. The Panthers have just gotten more injuries on top of injuries on top of injuries. So Shaq out tonight. Don't know where that's at. However, it's it's so to speak. Shaq may be out for a bit. Um, if I find anything out, I will try to get it on Panther Prime News. Um, you know, if I can. Um, but final score: Panthers fall zero and two to set their second straight defensive rival to the New Orleans Saints, twenty to seventeen. Monday night football, Bryce does okay, not the best. The whole Panthers team, outside of the defense, I, I give the defense. Uh, Eddie Panero, Eddie Panero, three for three, field goals, right when we needed to have him, he gave them to us. So I would say he's the MVP for tonight. Uh, Shaq, let's hope he's well. Louvu looked good. Let's see him continue carrying that on through. Uh, let's hope Derek Brown bounces back. Let's hope these other wide receivers can make some plays and Thielen isn't the only one that's able to establish and getting some plays and being that person when Bryce needs him. That my Sanders has got to wake up that running game. This offensive line has got to, one, protect Bryce better. Two, it's got to open those lanes up. We weren't able to run the ball much tonight because they weren't able to get the lanes open up. And the Saints were a lot of times putting Bryce on the run, putting Bryce pressure on him, putting hits on him, causing him to scramble a lot where he wasn't able to make too many plays tonight. So, We'll just have to see Panther Nation, but once again, Carolina Falls, 20-17, Week 2, Monday Night Football Recap. This is, of course, Panther Proud. This is, of course, Bill Mack with you. Thanks once again. If you like my video, like, subscribe, share. Also, if you follow my social media, you can like, comment. If you want to comment, put it in below. I will definitely get back to it. But until then, next Panther Nation, this is Bill Mack with the Panther Proud saying keep pounding. <laughs>